the Brunswick Beach area of North Carolina is not just a vacation spot anymore. This is a year-round family spot and a breeding ground for entrepreneurs. The Brunsco Kids Expo, Brunsco stands for Brunswick County, is a business fair for young entrepreneurs. It reflects the economic boom happening in the region that most people aren't aware of. Now, the expo was held at Office Depot in Shalote, North Carolina, which brought it indoors from a rainy weekend. Also on board to sponsor and to judge was Carolina Staffing Solutions. You know, I was, I was extremely impressed with the amount of creativity and the way they presented themselves, but also the way they articulated their products and services um, well beyond their years. A number of young entrepreneurs won prizes for creativity and profitability. One of them was DeAndre Jones. He is a self-published author with four books at the ripe old age of nine years old. So tell me about tell me about your book here, My Life Inside or Life Inside My Dad's PS4. What's that all about? So it's the second part to Life Inside My Nintendo Switch, except it's a PlayStation 4. It's different games, same plot, same characters, different games. There are some minor changes to that book. It's got the same basic plot. Jacob and his dad are stuck in the PS4. They have to go through a set of games to get out while there's still an angry virus chasing them and deleting everything in its path. Wow. What do you, what do you want to be? I mean, if you're writing now, but you're also into the PlayStation, what, what do you want to be? What's, what's the job of the future for you? I want to be an author slash doctor slash retail owner. Wow. That's a lot of slashes in there for a lot of jobs. You're going to be busy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Now, do you realize that I'm probably 50 years older than you, and I've only written two books? You've got three right here already. Four. <laughs> Four? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, look at that one. And I don't even count. Cool. All right. Got DeAndre. all drummed out in one month. It started with us. He loved reading. We wrote him stories when he was three about Mario and Luigi, so it made it interesting for him. But um, he's naturally a reader. He reads every day on weekends, at least 30 minutes a day. So um, we were talking about the Kids Expo and something that he was passionate about. So he decided the books. And he did all this by himself, pretty much. I was there to help bind and look up stuff for him. But Wow. And I, I, is, this, is this something that surprised you? I mean, is this... No. No, this is something you expected out of him. He, um, since he was five... I kind of always knew he was just gonna, he was gonna blow and I was just gonna follow. So, right. wherever he wants to go. <laughs> While DeAndre knew his skill first, Lillian only started producing eye catching magnets once she knew where her profits were going. Three children's charities she wanted to donate to. World Vision, I found out about it like two years ago and Operation Christmas Child. I've been doing it for I don't know how long, like two, three. Um, every year on my birthday, I'd ask for um, not to bring presents for me. Like, I'd give out a list, like school supplies and toothpaste, toothpaste, and I'd ask um, them to bring that. And um, we'd um, go to this big table we used to have in my house, and we'd just start packing. Talk about the, the charity that the money's going to. What is that? Is that the Billy Graham charity? Um, yes, yeah, so she has three that she does. It's Operation Christmas Child was her heart charity that she started with, and then it has grown to uh, World Vision, and then family, the Brunswick Family Assistance Program here locally. Okay. So we're trying to do some local charities as well. Uh, she actually was self-inspired. She has, for years now, been wanting to raise money for a pro program called Operation Christmas Child, and so she tried to find ways to raise that money. And this is kind of went from a Christmas present to all of a sudden a big deal. So How, she spends lots of hours on it. Well, that's great because technically she found the, the goal and the recipient first, and then she found what she wanted to sell. Yes, yes, she did. So it's it's just been um it's been a good experience for her to be able to learn how to have that goal and then figure out how am I going to pay for that goal, 
and this has given her an excellent opportunity to do that. And then the expo has been wonderful too because it's given her the tools to learn how to have a business and figure out where am I going to get money from and how am I going to pay that money back and then get seed money to make it grow. So it's been a wonderful so, experience. Have you seen a change in her? I mean, nine years old. I mean, have you seen a change in what I she's have. been doing? I have. She is just really blossomed as far as like her people skills even today like she was a little shy at the beginning and now she's coming out of her shell and I'm just kind of sitting back and letting her do her thing versus me kind of nudging her and giving her tips and so it's been a wonderful experience for her to to figure out what she wants to do. This expo says a lot about the future but it also says a lot about what is happening now. We've been telling you that this region from south of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, all the way to north of Wilmington, North Carolina, is booming and a great place to live. Well, I moved down here in 2007, so I've actually seen it grow a lot over the past few years, and now I feel like it is becoming much more, um, the opportunities for kids are growing. And I, I feel like that is not just for children, but for adults too, I feel like. The businesses are growing. Um, There's so many more people that live here. We really didn't know much about Leland or Brunswick County at all because every time we came here we just went to New Hanover. So when we moved here we actually fell in love with it. It was nice, small and quaint and there's lots of opportunities to And you're happy with the schooling and all that? Yes. I've heard from, from clients that I've called on over and over again about how there used to be a busy time and then they could relax a little bit and that has flattened out and now uh, everything is busy all year long. 